Let's do today's Why Don't They Just? Wait, oh, I don't have my audio queued, so here we go. How about that for a second? When is your launch, Tim? Your launch is coming up, isn't it? Yeah, we got to we gotta wrap here in the next 10 minutes, so... Because I got to live stream a launch today, so... Uh, do we have a Why Don't They Just this week, Joe? We do, and it's, and it's a little different. It's okay. a little different. So, um, I kind of forgot to... Um, to ask out there for once. This is actually from a very old one. This is from January 23rd. This is when the world was a different place. <laughs> but uh, this is from uh, Techero. Te Te anyway, it says, why don't they just build a giant dam to close off San Francisco Bay? At its most narrow point, the opening's only about a mile, 1.6 kilometers wide. The three gauges, gorges actually is the right name there. Dam in China is 1.4 miles wide. This could act as enormous water battery and hydroelectric dam, which because I, I know about San Francisco Bay, the the currents are so strong because the tide like really rolls in fast in and out of the bay. So they probably could get a lot of energy out of that. Outside of the fact that it would be an eyesore. What do you guys think? <laughs> well, San Francisco, who cares? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll start off by saying you don't build dams. Like the, a dam is normally like a you know you you dam up a flow of water you know a reservoir you're, you're damming up um, a river you know to to make to reserve that water blah 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 you're not I don't think you can really do that in a place where there's tides going in out this is the ocean it's not the, a river you know it's not yeah. like the mouth of the Mississippi or something it's it's just a bay from <laughs> with a direct feed to the ocean so there's I think tides that shift in and out and there's really strong currents. So I don't think you'd want to do a dam there. I think you'd want to do um, underwater like hydro turbines, you know, or something like that, or, or basically propellers yeah. um, under the, and that, uh, why don't they just, I, th I think that would be a phenomenal source of power potentially, but I don't know how, someone would need well, to know how much is the, how big are the tides and blah, 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 and run a study of, is it worth all the money to put those things there and all the infrastructure? It's just a matter of, I, I think you're, worth it. well, there's a couple things. I mean, uh, not to mention uh, shipping, uh, which the bay acts as like a huge hub for. Mm. Uh, so if you you know couldn't get boats through there, we wouldn't get <laughs> iPhones, and that would be the absolute <laughs> end of the world. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think uh, uh, along those lines, the the tidal energy thing, from what I've seen, uh, which is mostly coming from the fully charged channel, um, just isn't isn't super economical yet. Uh, like the, mm -hmm. the technology is not good enough for it to make total sense this is the latest thing I've seen on on that. But that could be a huge thing for the future is the tidal energy. And you wouldn't really have to put that by there. You could literally drop those like 100 kilometers out in the ocean somewhere because the, the, the wave energy, the, the tide, like it's still moving out there. Um, so imagine if you could like drop a turbine in like, the uh, one of the massive currents that takes all of the the heat and energy and, and and minerals from Alaska down to Calif down to San Diego or something like that. So there's there's probably a lot of options I think in that realm. But it, from what I understand, it's just not technology is just not good enough yet. Mm. Um, why don't they put up a dam? Yeah, for well, yeah, I mean I don't know wildlife and uh, <laughs> shipping would be my guess. Yeah, but I, I think I'm pretty sure it's not really the right type of body of water and things for a dam anyway. Right, like, for example, dams are, are super um, bad for the environment. Uh, and so there's like a, this whole thing to get rid of dams. Um, and so hydroelectric is great, but yeah, it, it like really messes with salmon migrations, for example, in the Pacific Northwest. And so besides the huge benefit of being able to develop technologies like the salmon cannon, which salmon right. swim into, and it shoots them out of the other side on the other side of the dam, yeah, which is just great to watch. Besides yeah. cool stuff like that, <laughs> uh, putting up a dam is is a, a terrible thing for the environment, and it's not so something you want I, to do. I know that when they first dam, say, a valley or something like that, that creates a lot of methane because of all the the plant life that gets decomposed down at the bottom, and methane comes out. Mm, yeah. Um, but what I... I I, I never knew if that was just like a one-time thing, like, yeah, it might dump a lot of methane over the first couple of years or something, but probably doesn't much after that, but I could be right. wrong. That sounds like, uh, a, really this sounds like a good video for Joe. Like, I, uh, you know, are dams terrible? 
or our dams there's, wonderful. There's a doc, How damn there's terrible a, are they? Yeah. There's a documentary on it called Damnation. Mm. Um, and, and there's even these, it's really cool in that they show these artists that do these things where like one guy, he painted on a, on a big dam, I think it was in the Pacific Northwest, he painted like a dotted line and a giant pair of scissors, like cutting the dam. Um, and I'm talking oh, like, you know, right. like 50 feet, you know, <laughs> uh, height, like it's it's super big, but yeah, like it's it's definitely not something you want to do if yeah. you, because because of all the damage it does to the kind of like ecosystem dam. in the area. And imagine it's... you're talking about like whales and stuff, but you're not talking right. about, mm -hmm. you know, just like some salmon here, you're talking about the ocean. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of like whales that go into the bay and stuff. That'd be really sad to see them just like knocking at the gate, like <laughs> my family well, on and... the other side. <laughs> well, and, and then that do. could wipe out some other, right. uh, like, uh, what, Joe, in your video about, was it kudzo or something? Kudzu. It was about yep. kudzu. It was like this plant that I get introduced, whatever. Imagine if, hey, there is a natural predator that comes into the bay, which keeps this other thing um, mm. in check. And now that can come in there. And now yeah. it just eats away. And now Facebook has to move their campus or something. <laughs> the ripple you know what effects. I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so it's just a bad idea, I think, messing with the ecosystem, especially at that scale, um, when we could, you know, I don't know, just put up more solar panels. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like we have answers for this. It's not like yeah. we don't know how to do this. Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure and subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.